Hi guys, it's me Derek aka Sal and welcome to a new episode with the Omega Enthusiast. The main focus of this channel is to talk about vintage watches, but from time to time I will include content relating to modern stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I perceive the watch market in three categories, vintage, modern, and micro-brands. I think it is essential for the watch community to support these micro-brands company as well, like how some of us support small businesses. I find that many micro-brands offer design that are demanded and desired by the watch community. In other words, they are listening to what the watch community is looking for. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment below. So after several days of looking into all the possible micro brand out there, I have selected 8 of my favorite and will explain why I chose them. Since I do not have these watches in hand, I can only speculate them using my years of knowledge in collecting and repairing watches and the details spec on their sites. As usual, I am only interested in looking into each brand's mechanical models and avoiding all the cords or battery operated pieces. Without further ado, let's get started. First on the list is probably the most recognizable brand in this video, and that is Boltec, made in France and introduced in 2017. Boltec has the most selection. By that, you can find almost any type of watch on their site to suit your taste, from regular classic pieces to dive watches and chronographs. I will include the website link of each brand mentioned in this video in the description box below. Since the company is not using Swiss made movement, they can minimize the costs, making their watches highly affordable. The only thing is, you have to be quick to order the new release pieces. From the many selection available on the site, my favorite would be their MR01 models. As you all know, I am a massive fan of any watch with a Breguet dial. But if they can introduce a new reference, for instance, let's say MR02 with center second instead, I would like it more since the MR01 has the sub-dial covering the 7 and 8 uh, L markers. MR01 has a 36mm diameter case, which is a perfect size, at least to me. The Hangzhou Chinese movement has a 42 hour power reserve, and this beautiful timepiece only costs $600. Second on the list is Vario, made in Singapore and introduced in 2016, founded by Ivan and his wife Judy. The Empire model initially caught my attention, but what really got me to dive deeper into the brand is their luring 1918 trench model. There are so many choices to choose from, but my favorite of them all would be the cream dial with orange loom. Unlike an original vintage trench watch from the, uh, over 100 years ago, the Vario version is self-winding, meaning automatic, and powered by my Yota movement with a 40-hour power reserve. There are two case size selection to choose from on this site, between 37mm and 40mm. I like the idea that the crown is located a little below 4 o'clock. This will help prevent it from catching on the sleeve of your shirt or pressing against the back of your hand. The dial is made of enamel to replicate a trench watch. The price listed on the site is only $388. Third on the list is Atelier Wen, or pronounced as Wen in Chinese, a brand where Paris meets Beijing because it's a Chinese brand founded by two Frenchmen who met in China in 2016 and became great friends. Their porcelain odyssey collection really caught my eyes. Aside from their unique, captivating looks, the case back is absolutely exquisite. Chinese culture is not complete without beautiful arts. Each version has its distinctive color tone porcelain dial and meaning. The Porcelain Odyssey collection comes in a 39mm case size with a 1950s appearance, powered by one of the very best custom-made SL3006 Chinese automatic movement with a 41-hour power reserve. The remarkable part is that this luxury-looking timepiece only costs approximately $700. US The fourth brand on the list is Elka, which can be considered the oldest or the youngest brand in this video because the company was found in the mid-1800s in Amsterdam and completely disappeared in the 1970s, only to relaunch its brand in Switzerland this year. So if you search online for Elka, you will find some of their beautiful vintage model as well. There are currently two series to choose from, with various dials and strap variation. 
Even though both cases are the same and measures 41mm in diameter, I prefer the X-Series more due to the alluring dial design giving that 1940s vibe. The Swiss automatic movement has an impressive 68 hour power reserve with so many choices to choose from with a price slightly under $2,000. Next on the list, I have Sirica, made in France and introduced in 2019. With three series to choose from, their 4512 field models are my favorite, especially the one with the California dial and broad arrow hands. They may appear small in the photo, but at 38mm, this is a perfect size for the wrist. Not to mention the bunk clip bracelet is an ideal choice for a military style watch. What's unique about this brand is that after selecting your watch, there's an option for you to choose the screw in crown position. So anyone that wears this watch in their right hands will feel comfortable as well. The manual wind movement has a power reserve of approximately 40 hours. I'm always a sucker for a timepiece from the 1930s and 1940s, and this piece has that appearance. And the listed price is only around 800 US. Number 6 on the list is Strum, launched in 2021 in Norway, and its unique looks makes it different from all the brands mentioned in this video. That's because it has more of a 1970 vibe with a distinctive earth crust texture dial. They currently have one design but with four different dial color tone to choose from, and you can select whether you want the piece in stainless steel or in Dimechus steel. After watching this video, I suggest that everyone visit all the brands website mentioned in this video to learn the story behind each brand. Even though a strum watch is more prominent, measuring 41mm in diameter, the shorter lugs and slimmer case allow it to wear well on a smaller wrist. The watch is powered by a Celita automatic movement with a power reserve of 38 hours. They are priced at around $1,000 US. The seventh brand on the list is Parent, introduced in 2020 and made in Switzerland. Inspired by pocket watch design, their Hint series are suitable for larger wrists. Clean and straightforward 1940s design in a 42.5mm stainless steel case. By the way, after watching this video, comment below which of the eight brands is your favorite. Or do you own one of these brands or do you know of another quality micro brand? Please share it with us. Even though the parent hint series are limited edition, you should consider the other series, such as their automatic dive and GMT models. In my opinion, a quality Swiss-made watch for under $1,000 is always a great bargain. Last on the list is Kurono. I can't end this video without including a Japanese brand. Kurono was introduced in 2019, launching its classic series, a perfectly sized timepiece with 37mm case diameter. The case design brings back the beauty of what 1940s and 1950s timepieces used to resemble. We all know that Japanese made product is always of top of the line quality because of their dedicated and precise devoted craftsmanship. Our only issue with this brand is that their product are limited and for under $2,000 each, their watches are sold instantly. So if you're on the hunt for a beautiful independent Japanese watch, then follow the brand and keep an eye open for the latest news. Once again, to learn more about each brand and their product detail, you can always visit their site for more information. Please note that I did a lot of research for this video, so these are not brands I randomly picked. We have come to the end of this episode. These are 8 quality micro brands that I highly recommend if you are looking for an independent watch brand in 2023. If you enjoy or find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Of course, you can always support my work on Patreon. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the following video.